Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantabulous day. I decided to bring you a bonus video. We're actually gonna take a break next Monday, so just be aware of that. Um, and I thought I would bring up a new video, an early video, and show you an unboxing of my new Shop Hush uh, haul. And I'm really excited because, gosh, I've never, bought anything off of Shop Hush. It's an app and it's got uh, discount makeup and it's not like discount as in like old makeup or cheap makeup. It, I, I don't mean it's cheap at all either. It, they have dupes and it's a company made, uh, I think it's based in LA, but it's a company that produces dupe palettes for like really popular like mo uh, like the modern renaissance from Anastasia Bever Beverly Hills and um, a bunch of other really popular palettes and so I'm really excited um, my first one that I got is actually this one it is the supernova palette and I'm not gonna open it right now but this palette is the dupe for uh, the Natasha Denona um, Lila palette and it is $129 uh, if you buy the real thing. This dupe was $16 and I was like, yes please. And by the way, throw away that comment that I said in another video about being a bad consumer and buying when you don't, you know, treat yourself. Just treat yourself. <laughs> My next thing I got with the Okalan, Okalan uh, Wine Lip Tint is what it's called and I just needed something extra to buy to reach $35 in order to uh, spin the wheel and get something free, which I'll show you next. But this is kind of cute. Look, it's in the shape of a little wine bottle and I've not used it yet, but it's, uh, I got like a purple, darker purple color. Anyway, we'll see. I probably won't use it much, but <laughs> it, it's cute. Then I got, this is my free thing, the Aloe uh, Plan 3, 6.5, I don't know, and it's in Korean, and I cannot read it, so it's like, Ching Kim, what you buy? No, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, and then the prize of the show is, uh, this is called the Arabesque Palette by Bad Habit. And I'm really excited because arabesque, I mean, I'm a ballerina, so uh, if you can imagine, I flipped out when this palette came out. But, funny thing is, it's actually a dupe for the uh, new, fairly new, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette. It shows you what marketing does to a person, because when I saw that palette, I was like, I don't like it at all, I don't really like the packaging, I don't like the colors inside of it, I had absolutely no desire to buy the Soft Glam palette because it just did not speak to me at all. At all. Well then this one came out from Shop Hush, and I will show you this little thing, I've never opened it, I've looked at the colors, but anyway, so this is super pretty, okay, and I was like, wow, 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 wow. So when I saw it on Shop Hush, the arabesque, I was like, okay, like that's already ballerina. I was super excited about that. But I looked inside and it just looked different. I don't know why. Um, it has the exact same colors. I've seen other videos where they swatched the same palette, uh, well, the soft glam palette and this one side by side, and they're honestly the same colors. Like they really are. And so that's just a true test to tell you that marketing works. And the names of these are things like Tutu, Leotard waltz, pirouette, you know, just like words like that, just, I mean, it spoke to me so much and I literally immediately bought it. I really did. And um, <laughs> so this was also $16 and this is what I want to really talk about today and I'm going to swatch them for you and maybe do a look. All right guys, so from the top row here, going from here this way and then the second row from here this way. The names of these are Avon, On Point, Tutu, Ballet Slippers, Interlude, Releve, uh, Melodrama, Satin, Pirouette, Waltz, Nutcracker, Grand Plier, and Esmeralda. Lastly, the black is Leotards. So I think it's a, the names just speak to me and um, being a ballerina, I know how to say all of the names sometimes. I've watched other videos and people are like, Relieve. 
It's fringe. It's relevé. Get it right, people. Get it right. Okay, rant over. <laughs> so guys, I already primed my eyes and I used um, this Maybelline Colorstay and um, Barely Branded and um, I usually, it's kind of tacky, so I stick it on first and then I um, set it with a, a brown powder that, whatever. So now, let's see, what am I going to do? So I think I'm going to go into, hmm, what am I going to do? I love this pure wet color. Oh. Okay, so it's got some powder, it's got some kick up. It is a little bit of a... Uh... I've never used a Bad Habit palette, so I don't know what it's like. It is a little powdery, but it's not bad, honestly. It's not... To me, I'm not mad about all the powder. If you just kick it off of your brush, then you're good. That was Pure Wet, this color here, and uh, so there. So Pure Wet. I think I'm gonna go into Nutcracker. Very pretty. Um, I'm gonna do like a more pinky color. Ooh, oh, man, I'm so excited. No, we're gonna do Relevé on the outside here. The outer V. We're gonna do Relevé. Wow, these colors blend. You don't need a lot of shadow because they blend well and they go far. Okay, and then we're gonna go, I'm going to use my NYX Glitter Glue. Because this amps up the color. My finger dipping into oh my gosh the softest one in the whole palette nutcracker oh that's pretty that's pretty y'all I'm excited back into my Real Techniques brush and use, um, I believe we're going to do, hmm, maybe interlude a color. No, we're going to go back into Pure Wet and I'm going to just make sure that that blends well. Make sure there's no harsh transitions there. This brush, my elf brush, and I'm going to hmm, I'm gonna use on point, end point, and tap that into the inner corner. Yeah. What do you think guys? A little does it make me look bruised? <laughs> I hope not. It is different color. on camera, I think, than it is in real life, maybe. But anyway, it's a pretty palette. I like it a lot. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'm gonna do my eyeliner, Wet n Wild, Elf, Liquid, and I got new Essence Lash Princess mascara that has been amazing. So um, give me a minute, I will come back. All right, you guys, this is my final look. I'm really happy with it. It's a little browner than I thought it would be, but I'm still gonna play around with the colors and see what other looks I can come up with. This palette, you guys, is totally like up my alley. It speaks my name, I just, and I really like it. I like it um, a lot, and it's really soft. I think that if you um, like uh, shimmer and you like matte it actually has a lot of matte in here I feel like it's usable uh, every day you can take it to work and do really good neutral colors with it um, neutral looks with it and this is my first experience with the bad habit palette so um, it's been a good one and I really think you guys 
are interested and you like ballerina stuff, then maybe check it out. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I think it's pretty and it's a little different. Um, I'm going to actually put some of the tutu color here as a highlight. And I'm actually going to try to make that a little less harsh of a line. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, that's kind of harsh. We're going to blend that out a little better. Like I said, these are super, super, super blendable. I'm surprised at the blendability of them, but in a good way. I think it's exciting that if you want to change your look, I mean, it's a palette you can use and get a quick look out of it. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. What do you think? What do you think? Anyway, I'm excited. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope that this was fun uh, for you, as fun as it was for me. And um, tell me what you think. Bye, guys.